things I like to do, which I think is fairly good practice, is to try and mix up where you're starting a lick. So this came from the introduction of a tune. The thing that we're actually doing is starting on the and of beat four, right? So the lick is in A major, we're starting on the sixth fret with our index finger on the D string. hybrid pick in here as well, so we go 6, 7, 9 on the D string, up to the B string, 5th fret, back down to the 9th, then up to the 7th fret, pull off, down, back down to the 9th, and then to the 5 on the B string, 9, 9, and then jump up to the 9th, 9, I'll just do it with a bit less reverb. One, two, three, four. Three, four. That bit in particular is a bit tricky for me. So I might kind of uh, slow that down in that way. So what I would do first of all is think about playing this along with a click. So as we say, kind of, this is going to help you kind of counting stuff. And in theory, we hope that this sort of thing leads to us kind of improvising in a more interesting way. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, and four. thing that I might do with this to, to make it more than just this one lick is also to then start thinking about how I might start this phrase. So what I've put together, I'm just going to show you now, is like a sheet with some other kind of entries into this. So first of all, the most obvious thing, we're starting on the beat 4 and, so what about if we started on the beat 4 and just added two notes at the start. So we're going to add just before, one, two, three. front of the lick just to slightly lengthen it and then what I thought was what if we took away one of those notes so what we'd be doing then is starting on the 4E and uh, so 2 
And to kind of jog myself into getting that timing right, I might start on an upstroke. One, two, three, four. Three, four. Again, so we're going to start on beat three now with this kind of thing. One, two, Put this on the kind of start of it, three, four. So that'd be the first two beats, four. start to build up a longer kind of legato phrase but also building it in a way that is intentional and has kind of timing aspects going on so that you can hopefully build sort of some more flexible legato phrasing so just again from the start we get one two three four three four now and try and put those together but that's just kind of one way that I think is a good way to build some more kind of flexibility into your legato instead of just learning one lick maybe you make your own little variations of it and find your own entrances into it and maybe even exits but that's just a, a little thought feel free to like and subscribe the backing track and the tab for this will be up on patreon thank you for supporting over there I'll catch you in another video soon cheers